the kiss that missed? What do you see on this cover? A knight, a horse, and a boy. The knight is riding on a horse, and they look quite shocked. What is gonna happen? Let's see. Once upon a Tuesday, the king was in a hurry as usual. He passed by his son's room. The prince saw the king, and he was trying to ask the king to read him a bedtime story. Good night, the king said, and blew his son a royal kiss. But it missed. The kiss did not reach the prince and flew away. The young prince watched it rattle around the room, then bounced out of the window and into the night. The prince told the queen how the kiss missed him and flew away. The queen told the king, and the king had a quick word with his. Loyal knight. Follow that kiss, he squawked. The knight tried to mount his horse, but he was riding it backward and got all tangled up. Phew! The knight mounted his horse eventually and galloped off in hot pursuit until they came to the wild wood. Wild creatures with wild eyes, too much hair, and very bad manners lived here. The wild wood was so dark. It was so smelly. It was snowing, and they were not alone. What kind of animals can you spot here? Oh no! In the wood, there were bears with long claws and growling roars, swooping owls of all shapes and sizes, and a pack of hungry wolves with dribbly mouths. The knight and the horse were in great danger. Eek! Squeaked the knight, and then suddenly, with a sparkle. The royal kiss came floating by, and in turn said good night to everyone. Good night, good night, good night. Then the behavior of the wild animals changed. It. Bears stopped being growly, owls stopped being swoopy, wolves stopped being dribbly. And before you could say big hairy toes, they all settled down for a good night's sleep. How amazing! What turned the fierce animals into gentle animals? The knight and his faithful horse rode out of the dark wood, and sat down on a wrinkly old tree trunk to rest. Oh wow! The wrinkly old tree trunk twisted, and slowly rose into the air. It rose above the woods and into the clouds. Was it really an old tree trunk? No, it was not an old tree trunk. It was the claw of a giant creature. What could it be? At last, the knight and the horse found themselves staring into a pair of giant nostrils. A dragon with this lot would be nice for breakfast. Eyes leered greedily at them. Oh no! The dragon was about to eat the knight and the horse. They were in great danger. But suddenly. With a sparkle, the royal kiss came floating by, and flew right up the dragon's nose. 
he sat up, sniffed, and blinked. Slowly, he opened his mouth, took a deep breath, and sneezed. Achoo! Hooray! The knight and the horse escaped and had caught the royal kiss. But what was behind them? Oh no! The dragon was chasing after the knight and the horse. Hang on, he said, as they tumbled through the tree. Come back, he puffed, as he lumbered after them. I want to pick you up and kiss you good night. What a surprise! The dragon then picked up the knight and the horse and kissed them. What had changed the fierce dragon into a friendly dragon? Slowly, they all made their way back to the castle. That night, the whole royal family was so happy to see the kiss that missed it before. The prince was happy, the queen was happy, and the king promised to stop always being in a hurry. He put the prince in bed and made sure everyone was comfortable. All the animals, the dragon, the knight, and the horse were in the room resting comfortably. Then the king slowly read them a bedtime story, from beginning to end. Well, almost. So, what was the thing that had changed the behavior of the wild animals and the dragon? Have you noticed that the animals became very gentle and friendly when the royal kids flew by? Remember, love is gentle and powerful. Love always brings hope and makes the world better. And that's the end.